It's Tom, isn't it? It's worse for Rabbit and Charlie. I expect they're gonna turn me loose in the morning. Do you wanna tell me what happened? Nothing here. Setting the beacon. Do not set the C4. Repeating. I set the C4. Copy. Setting the C4. We need to Do not set the C4. Repeat. I set the C4. Single jail. Set the C4. Damn it. Bob was here earlier. He told me about everything that happened in Kansas City. Yeah, the countermeasures actually worked. We stopped that hurricane in the Gulf and the seismic attacks in California. He's talking about Jack's proposal. You should get depressed. Come on, Jan. I'll be right here waiting on you, Tom Jones. I understand. I'm sending you my best. What about his history with her? Never assume we operate on your emotional level.
Hello, my son. I'm thrilled to see that you've returned to me. But I must ask you to step out into the darkness once again. You are to join a group assembled by our ninth circle. I do not trust the other two members. One is motivated by his weakness. The other only knows greed. Their Purusha is stained. Should they prove problematic, we will have you remove them permanently. You're late. Your driver doesn't seem to know his way around anything. I don't pay you for excuses. If it's becoming bothersome, then be done with it. Nice. I brought what you ordered. Good. What materials do we still require? Four components. We still need the high-speed conventional explosive to propel the raining bullet down the barrel. We need the cobalt for the tamper. We need to buy the detonators, and we still need to find the uranium. Well, I acquired the detonators in New Orleans. Where's the uranium trigger? I got it in Mexico. Is this other one here yet? Yes. He arrived just before I did. He's checking in at the container terminal. Leave him be. He's of no concern to you. OK? So while the whole thing's under review, mm -hmm. I heard I'm being uh, loaned out on a joint op. With who? The DNDO. It's an agency operating under. Oh, uh, the Domestic Homeless. Nuclear Detection Office. Are yeah. you guys working with product acquisition and deployment, or? Maybe. That's good. I heard they're amazing. What? I mean, who are you, really? All of a sudden, you. You're okay, my okay, lunch. okay, Tom Edmonds. You know what? I thought you said that Phoenix did do join ops. There's too much history, history. and complications, yeah, right? There is. It's a new field unit. It's being formed to develop a uh, means of countering all these new micro-nuclear terrorist threats. Sounds interesting. Actually, we could use some brains on this. Some buck 59 or some real chess club brains, if you know what I mean. He's got a 164, actually. And we can really use some federal grants. Great. I can arrange for somebody to go pick him up this afternoon, if you like. It's already done. The estimated time of arrival looks like about uh, 3 p.m. Maybe we could just do it at your parents' house. No way. You know them, they're just kind of... Religious? I was gonna say uptight. Right. Yeah, well, maybe I could pay him off with a goat. A small goat. It'd be a lot cheaper than anything else. Does a small goat have another name? Like a U? I know you want formal. Can we just go small and formal? Like, like 30 guests in a white dress. White dress? I'm but a white dress I'm means wearing that... a white dress. All right, how about we do... No. Damn it. I think it's a good idea. What? You're serious. How can you say that? She has no experience. Thank you. She is an asset. Oh. Her file reads like an agent's who's who. Okay. 
Both the parents were in the OSS, and when the mother was killed in action, Dr. Baker put her through a training program that rivals that of the SAS. She's field qualified. I don't care. She has all the training in the world. I'm not using her like that, Ack. All right? She's a scientist. Either you use her, or I will. Have her take the agency qualification exams as soon as possible. Actually, you're a special agent. G-Man's an FBI okay. term. We're right. much cooler. Right. Sorry. You're just really, honestly, I think you're just jealous because I did better than you. <laughs> Maybe. Hey, when do I get my badge? No badge. You're going to get a special agency ID tomorrow, and the joint operations lab is all yours. OK. Can I carry now, too, or when? We'll get you a USB. <laughs> yes. Awesome. Uh, I'm proud of you. Thank you. Me too. Well, I will see you tonight. Thank you. OK. Special Agent Baker. speak the language of miscreants. I knew your son. I've met others. Clones. Like you, but never a father. Isn't that what they call you? Why don't you come have a drink with me? I've been watching you for the last three days. Just lay off the whiskey. It'll further slow you down. I thought we were going out to eat. Well, this is out. I mean, how out do you want? Easy, boys. Tom Jones, I'm with the DOD. Who's she? My partner. It's 
tonight. I've never seen a grown man in an apron before. What's going on back here? How long have y'all been in here? With all due respect, I'll ask the questions. How long has he been dead? As far as we can gather, about two hours. Now, how long have you been inside? Thanks. Is there another body? What do you got? Well, there's obviously two sets of shoes here. One of them's definitely high heels. <laughs> so much. Oh, really? Wait, wait, wait. Come here. The other one looks, I don't know, soulless? Damn it. Jimmy, it looks like we got another one. Another what? Kidnapping. That leads to mutilation. It's some morbid shit. Call this in. Here's my card. Officer, I'm gonna give you a call in the morning. We'll have a little chatsky. Cool? It's detective. Don't forget your crutch. Thanks be to our mutual friends for putting us together. Oh, cut this shit, Rourke. And next time, don't bother with the fucking dress. What do you want? I need a high-speed conventional explosive, and I need 100 kilograms of U-235. I have no connections in the nuclear weapons market. You have to go somewhere else for that. What about the conventional explosive? How fast is high speed to you? Above seven kilometers per second. I can get you urea nitrate. Urea nitrate has a velocity of detonation less than five kilometers. I want seven. How about Semtex? Plastic? Has a velocity of detonation in the 7.25 kilometer per second range. But uh, it's expensive. How expensive? How much do you want? 25 pounds should do it. I can't go lower than five minutes. You're a thief. I'm in a hurry, so yes. This is the number for the bank account. Transfer the funds, we get your syntax. Delivered here. Get out of here.
Mark that kill as mine. Here's the sit rep. We think there's a terrorist cell smuggling in enriched uranium through small ports across the U.S., probably using cargo container ships. The most recent AO puts them here in Mobile. We've been hired to build a device to detect that material in a quick scan, and we need to do that now. OK, how quick is quick? Ideally, no more than 20 seconds. And how big is the piece of uranium we're talking about? Buck 59 is say they need 50 kilos of U-235 enriched to 80%, which would yield about 63 kilos of uranium in total. It's going to be less than six inches in diameter if it's a sphere. That's tiny. Yep. And they have to divide it into at least two parts for it to be subcritical. Of course, they may even divide it into three or four for safety. OK, Tom, how do we find something that small? We can't search every ship, every container, every package coming through the port. In order for this to work, our gravity gradient detector will be made up of multiple grouped pairs of standard accelerometers. It should be able to detect at least five kilograms of uranium within our targeted time frame. Gee, that's crazy. <laughs> Do we possibly know anybody that could create something so complicated? In the meantime, I want you to look into cases of missing uranium. Start with known traffickers. Roger that, Tom. Dominic, yes, get any info you can on how many ships are coming in this week, where they're coming from. You get the idea. All right, boss. So, Denise? You will design both the physical accelerometer array device and the cascade microchannel plate that we need for our handheld neutron detector. OK, I got it. OK, sounds good. Let's get started. So what's our next move? Don's going to round up the usual suspects, but in Operation This Well Funded, they're not going to use the players we know about already. We need to find a way to trace them scientifically. Well, according to the latest report prepped by the Waldos, the most effective design would be to surround the uranium with cobalt. It's also the easiest to assemble in parts. One gram of cobalt-65 can render one square kilometer uninhabitable. A fallout. Where would you detonate a weapon like that? Well, the ARO and the ISA say Houston or Dallas, but I reckon a more likely option would be New Orleans. New Orleans? Yeah. The standard wind currents would deposit the fallout in a 100-mile swath from there to Jacksonville. The entire Gulf Coast would have to be abandoned for decades. How much cobalt would you need? About 500 pounds. It's a cube, 12 inches a side. Damn it. It's always smaller than you hope. Yeah, I know, right? Mm. I'm head to the lab. You want to come? Nah, too many big words in that place. I'll catch up with you later. Actually, you sent Agent Bloom out without clearance from me. Yeah. I had a hunch, Ack. I did what I had to do. Need I remind you, Tom, that you still report to me. You don't run this operation. And you don't run SOL. All right, we only report up. Yeah. Your little black op did not have the support of Special Operations Command. We had no eyes in the sky. They pulled her out of the bay about an hour ago. Sir? Top. Got the forensics report back on Agent Bloom. Took her Emmy hours to find the entry wound. Thought it was in Mobile Bay. That didn't help much. Best we could tell was some sort of wildcat round. Like a 25. Wildcat? Entry was the side of the head, two centimeters from the ear. Like this? It's also the same bullet GSG-9 found in those bodies in Berlin. Where, where was she? I don't know how the bait took care of that. Son of a bitch. Her drop load was a GPS tag, got it. Top, where are you headed? She has acid burns on some portions of her body, except for some areas that were carefully avoided. Why? In these areas, a series of numbers, words, and symbols were carefully branded and carved into her flesh. Is that what killed her? So it would seem. 
It's horrible to think this is the third time that we've seen this. What? This has happened before? Yes. Two identical cases just last week. You say these symbols were branded into her? Yes. It matches the other victims with horrific precision. Can you get me detailed photographs of those other cases, please? Certainly. The mud on her feet and her shoe size matched the evidence found in the alley. Plus, she had uh, DNA from the male on the scene underneath her fingernails, matching the two together. So Mina was right about their others being involved. Yeah. Good instinct. You want hungry? No. Thank you, though. Just... I don't know, seeing that girl today at the morgue. I remember the first time I was exposed to something like that. What'd you do? Well, first, it'll haunt you. But then you gotta learn to just shut it out. How do you not think about what we saw today? <laughs> ah, therapy tends to help. Do you know what fascinates me about you? Is that you hold on to your ideals. But Jan, you're part of us now. You need to learn to suppress that. And that's for the greater good. All right? It's not that easy. Wait, I... Jan, I... I didn't... this facility? Oh, yeah. Tom Jones, I'm with the DOD. We oh, spoke sure. earlier. Absolutely. Right, right. Yeah, I was just telling Special Agent Brooks that we process about 500 containers a day, so between three and 4,000 a week. Wow. So we're half coming in and half going out? Yeah, pretty much. So basically, we're going to have to go through a container about every five minutes or so to make sure we don't interrupt the operation. How are these containers run out of the facility? Oh, yeah, railroad cars, barges, and flatbed trucks mostly. Some go back on other ships. Can we see an open container? Sure, sure, follow me. Where's Jan? Uh, she went Oscar Charlie 60 mics ago. She had to do an ORP on the subject. Oh, and hey, Tom, that's, uh, that was, a uh, Zulu time. I yeah. have no idea. Uh, Jan went to go see a black marketer about our new trend triggers. She'll be back. This is a standard 20-foot intermodal container. Each container is scanned for radiation signatures when the scanner's working. I want to see why it would be impossible to search each individual container, because you'd also have to search each package as well. Yeah, that wouldn't solve your problem anyway. Shutting uranium is pretty easy. Uh, our saving grace is that their individual property should give them a unique gravitational ID. So we good? Good. Good. Got the information. Great. Thank, Thank you. you. Actually, I'm going to ask a few more questions. You guys ready? Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Hey, special agent Keith Brooks. Keith. Sure. I assume you were briefed by Homeland Security and the Port Authority? Oh, yes. Have you seen anything suspicious around here besides us? Uh, well, you know, there has been an individual around who seems suspect to me. When was he here? Been here the last two days in a row in the afternoon. And what was he doing? 
Well, he spoke to no one, but he spent a great deal of time in the area where containers are offloaded onto flatbed trucks. Describe him for me. Yeah, he is of Mideastern appearance, and he drives a beautiful Mercedes. What's odd about that? Yeah, well, see, he has a dock hand badge, so if they're paying him enough to afford that car, I should have two of them. Tell you what, if you see him again, give me a call. Will do. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm gonna take a look around a little bit. Yeah, sure thing. See, I added bridge wire detonators, slapper detonators, and a ton of different high-speed conventional explosives. Great. Mm-hmm. I can help you set up better searches if you'd like. Really? Mm-hmm. That'd be great, yeah. Thank you. I'll do it now. No, I didn't. You don't have to do it now. I mean... Uh, it's only going to take me a minute. Oh, you know what? You're probably going to need uh, maximum clearance. I could get Tom to do that for you. It's no big deal. <laughs> no, I think that's okay. I... Pretty much have better access than you. Wait, how'd you get my password? There we go. Here it comes. Special Agent Keith Brooks. <laughs> okay. He's had me calling him that all morning. Special Agent. No. Yeah, at breakfast. What about last night? Really? Well, the buying and selling is part of the purpose. I have sent my son to watch them, but we have our doubts. We must see it through at any cost. Oh, it'll get used. Even if they aren't the zealots that we'd hoped for. So, tell me about Berlin. Berlin? <laughs> you should have been there. <laughs> These are the two agents been asking questions. Want me to bump them off? No, we'll be leaving shortly. Ignore them unless they become a problem. The Paul Thoin arms dealer who sold us the conventional explosive has asked that I come back and talk to him. About what? He wouldn't say on the phone, but he did say it would be well worth me while to come. You must go. Go. Fahim! You wanted me? Why are you still here? I thought you wanted me to take care of this. You was meant to be at the fucking docks. Go! <sighs> Tom? Mm. We have our first hit. Our databases are good. No, this one's from Special Agent Keith Brooks. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't actually find anything. Oh, man, let's see. Well, look, it says that there's 260 kilograms of cobalt purchased somewhere in Solstice research materials. You got a shipping address? Yeah, one second. Somewhere in New Orleans. Jones. I hate to tell you this, but we have a fourth young woman. Looks like your hunch paid off. Cause of death was the same wildcat round that we found in Agent Bloom and the other boy in the alley. Okay, you send me detailed pictures immediately. I'm on my way. Yes, sir. Let's go. 
What's going on? I'm uh, on my way back to the morgue. I should be back in about an hour. Okay. Good work, Baker. Hey, Tom. Yeah. Why do you care so much about that other case? I mean, isn't that like a local authorities thing? It is, but faith did this in our lap, and I don't question Providence. Everything happens for a reason, Baker. It's Winston at the container terminal. Is Tom there? Um, no, he's not. He stepped out. But I could help you. I'm his partner. Yeah, he is back. The man we talked about. He's here now. Um, okay. I'm gonna give you a different number to call, and I'll be right there. Yeah, he's just leaving. He's in a white van. I got the plates if you want. Okay, uh, let me call you back later, okay? It was just misunderstanding, okay? It was, it was it wasn't my fault. Look, she knew I was there. It's okay. She followed me. I'm fine. It's okay. It's okay. Hey. I'm not angry with you because you got followed. Hmm? All right? Okay. I'm angry with you. 
because you lost me my fucking van. I didn't lose your van, okay? I always do what you ask me to do, huh? Like I do, I, I failed you once, okay? Just give me, give me. You was a fuck up as a kid? No, look, please. Hajari, please, I swear to you, okay? Just give me, give me one opportunity. I'm, I'm gonna make it right for you. And you're a fuck up now. I'm here. Now what do you have? Bomb-grade nuclear material. I thought you said you had no access to nuclear materials. I lied. You're a small fish playing in a big pond. The pond will soon take notice. We'll see. How much fissile material do you need? Enough enriched uranium to contain 100 kilograms of U-235. You'll have it soon. It's on its way. How can I be certain of the quality? Our mutual friends are aware of your sources. Contact your parents in Melanesia. Deliver it here. No need. We know where you are. Look, why are you here? I thought we just went over that. You know what I mean. A girl's got to eat. The NDO says we'll only be able to evacuate 10% of the populace from the blast area, 26% from the fallout zone. What about the hurricane evacuation routes? In a hurricane, you got time. We won't. Top, you know we can use all this tech here, right? Yeah, it's just after that Kansas City off, give me hey, information top. any day of the week. Any day of the week. Um, I might have a wee problem. It seems one of the Waldos was involved in a shootout in a junkyard near the cargo terminal. Seriously? Yeah. Who? Well, you mean... I guess he doesn't want to hear about the explosion. Uh, explosion? Like... Yeah. Huh. Paper maps? You know I got all this tech. It wasn't even... All right. Well, it looks like my first three searches hit pay dirt. Wait, three? I only saw the one about Cobalt. Well, I just sent you the other two a couple minutes ago. Well, did you get anything else? Well, I found out that the trigger materials were purchased and delivered to an address a few months ago in Mexico. The uh, bridge wire detonators were actually purchased in New Orleans. Great job, T. Thanks, it was pretty easy. Brooks! I should arrest you for hacking. I should throw you in the brig for insubordination. What's going on? Tell him, Jan. I got a call about a suspect, so I followed him, and we only exchanged a little bit of fire. What? Jan, you got to stop doing She's this. She's got clearance, Keith. All right? She's a special agent. You're not. But that doesn't give any of you the right to run around willy-nilly, get all reckless. All right, that's my job. Anybody else hungry? I hear Wenzel says a killer happy hour. Look, Jan, next time, just call me.
Let them in. Full stand down. Full stand down. Tom! What's going on? 2243 hours, we detected a team of two moving in on the joint operations lab. They may have taken Special Agent Baker. How? Where, where was security? We relaxed security. What? It was the only lead we had. You son of a bitch. You set her up. You made her an agent. You used her as bait. You scrambled a rescue team. I can't. Damn it, Marcus, you stand here and listen. You recite the rules you of engagement. know that. I'm going after her. Where is she? Where is she? Don't. Look, about what I said earlier, I... Sellers, I, I need that information, all right? I can't say why. I can't say I still remember Beirut. So do I, but you got to give me some time. I'll need to work around that joint ops committee you've got yourself wrapped up in. OK, I just don't know how much time I have. I need this, man. Jones. Blood works back. Named David Martinez. He works for Blackthorn. The security firm? Same one. Got a contract with a steel company based in London. Passport puts it in the US via Dallas eight days ago. Got a hit on his personal credit card, too. Dumbass ordered dinner to a warehouse in Mobile. Address is already on its way. So let's consider us even. Nice work, brother. Grab your gear. We're on.
Vulcan's ordered the Cobalt. I need you to tell your master that all is going according to plan. And for me, I think maybe it's time I uh, tasted some of the local delicacies. You can show everything. You're the epitome uh. of selfishness. But I'm going to teach you modesty. I'm going to teach you how to beg for forgiveness. 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 Then again, you should feel honored. As you are now the symbol of the new era of freedom. I told you I did not want to be disturbed. I assure you it's more urgent than your hobby. Enjoy the anticipation, my first lady. Yes. I'll be back shortly. Oh, and, uh... Do make yourself at home.
MIA, so we assume they're dead. Trish, what do you got? Couple of bits. Seems your man was a known associate of one Mayor O'Rourke. She's demo for hire. She's got ties to Sinn Féin, Hezbollah, Los Cetas, and Blackthorn. Looks like we got a working girl. And there's more. Based on the description that Jan gave us last night and your hunch, we may have a new player. His name is AJ Bashir. Now, he hired Blackthorn three years ago on a protection gig in Libya. But here's where it gets a bit grey. DOD cross-checks show him at a classified operation called October Harvest back in 1980. He would have been a kid then. Right. But his father, Admir Bashir, was a Langley handler who helped provide intel on the Tehran hostage crisis. And the rest, it's code black. Clearly above my pay scale. Can we just bring him in? No, he's watched list only. We have nothing conclusive on him. Well, then, do you know when the uranium might arrive? Our intel says they shipped 100 kilos of material sourced from a former Soviet missile. 100 kilos? I thought we were looking for 50. Yo, how copy? Something's wrong. There's nothing here. I, I need more time. I don't know. Maybe they didn't ship all of it. I heard rumors of an unknown amount of uranium placed on the ship headed to the port of the Gulf. Mine's up in Langley. Okay. Here's the situation. For the next week, that container terminal is off limits. With Big Bertha in play, we can isolate the U-235, replace it with harmless U-238, allow them to pick up their cargo, and take us to the bomb safely. SOL handles the pickup. No exceptions. OK, people, you heard the man. Operation Jubilee Harvest is officially a go. so bored. <laughs> Look, I, three days of nothing is not what I signed up for. Well, this is what you wanted. This is what it is. The endless wait. You want to be a special agent, step one's drinking bad coffee, watching and waiting. Oh, hey, by the way, I compiled that information you were looking for this morning. You broke through the DOD firewall? Look at you. At the file lists one Admir Bashir and why Francis Bashir is being dead on scene. Okay. It's filed as a domestic dispute and says on here that uh, uh, it looked like Francis was cheating on Admir with one of his co-workers. But what's odd is their son, A.J. Bashir, he was listed as being there but not having any involvement. So why include them in the file? Exactly. It doesn't make any sense. So I started digging a little bit further. Here is a CIA shell company that was paying the boarding tuition for one A.J. Bashir in London. I looked at the enrollment records, and he started in the fall of 1980, two months after his parents died. Hmm. After school, boom, he disappears. Nothing. I can't find anything on him. Ten years later, though, this little gem pops up. One Algeri Bashir. He's a successful businessman all over the Middle East in steel. And then nothing. I can't find anything on this guy now. No tie to Blackthorn. What's Blackthorn? Never mind. That's good intel. Send that to me. I want you to forward that to me as soon as possible. Oh, hey, and I want you to make me a special agent as soon as possible. Whoa. We got a nibble. Go figure. The packages that we're looking for are gonna be on the far side, on the floor, opposite ends. That's okay, just pull out everything and put it back exactly the way that we find it. I want you to stay here in case we find anything else. All right. Good job, Keith. All right, gentlemen, the package that we're gonna be looking for is on the far end, so take everything out very carefully. We gotta put it back exactly as we found it.
Something's gone wrong according to our man at the terminal. He says the container's been spotted and opened. Well, we must move it now. New Orleans has confirmed the shipment. That's not what we discussed. It was of my money. You'll receive final plan once your work's complete. Until then, I suggest you perform as ordered. Would want you to get caught up in any collateral damage now, would I? Hmm? Good. Special Agent Baker. Hey, Puck's on the move. I want you to rendezvous with Trish and meet me there. You might have a bomb to defuse. Well, it's not assembled, so it shouldn't be a problem. I know, it's just. It's never that easy. Trust me. Hands up! Left in a hurry. Damn it! This is no good. They knew we were coming. Jen, you're with me. We're going back to Phoenix team. Come on, sir! Stay here, check for any intel, run a full sweep. Why would they abandon the most important part of their bomb without a fight? We do have new intel that it's possible a hundred kilos of U-235 went missing. But we only found 50 in the container. So then that means they can still build the cobalt bomb. Wait, Keith, where in New Orleans did you say that the detonators were purchased? All right, I'm gonna pull it up on the big screen here. Is it a mining supply store just north of the Pontchartrain Causeway? I'm on it. Denise and I do have one working handheld detector. We need it. And as long as it's not overly shielded and we can get within 30 feet, we just might be able to find it. I think the next action is going to be in New Orleans. Yeah, I agree. We're Oscar Mike in 20. Make it 30. Two days ago, two days ago, I don't need to know the weather. I don't need to know how many shingles the place has on the damn thing. You get me some actionable intel, and you do it fast. Anything? No, the bridge wire detonators leads a bust. There was just no security cam inside the vehicle the buyer was in. What about satellite? I already tried. There just was nothing looking that way. So that's it? I mean, we have no way of finding them. There has to be something. As you expected, his arrogance has led them closer. You mentioned a sequence of numbers. Did he continue? Yes. That is unfortunate. Activate the solution. But mind your presence. They may solve for us. As you wish. Sacrificum. Juro Liberum. We mustn't lose sight of our purpose. I've dispatched your brother to absolve our trepidations. Anything, Keith? Well, I'll try to research I can think of. I'm not coming up with anything. Oh, thanks. Special Agent Baker? Okay. 
Okay. Uh, yes, will you send those to my email, please? All right, great, thanks. That was Don. He said that the lab reports for those mutilation pictures are in. Yeah, I sent those into language and forensics after our encounter on a hunch. He said that on the lower abdomen of all the women was a series of numbers branded. They're all the same. On all the women? That's something. Call him out. Two nine nine five four six four dash nine zero zero seven five zero seven. Okay. Well, you're the Waldos. What does it mean? Keith, you're the IQ. What is this? Well, there obviously aren't any perfect numbers. Okay. They're not squares, any sequence I can see. There's no physical constants. Try this. You know what? It could almost be GPS coordinates because 29 and 90 are coordinates of New Orleans. I think you may be onto something here. You do that. Holy shit. It's not a dash. It's a minus sign. It's the World Geodetic System. Would he actually brand the coordinates of Ground Zero on those women? Then again, you should feel honored that you are now the symbol of the new era of freedom. Scramble the team. Where it go? I'm sending you the coordinates now. Okay. You earned it. I hereby deputize you, Special Agent Keith Brooks. You brilliant son of a bitch. Jeez. Don't I get a gun? No. no. Special Agent Keith Brooks. You know that's got a nice ring to it. <laughs> I've always known you were a special baby. Look, when we get to that rally point, nobody gets out of this car till I give the all clear. You understand? I don't need anyone doing anything stupid. You're here to help us secure the U-235. That's it. You understand, Special Agent Brooks? Yeah. People, time to earn your paychecks. Trish, you've got Alpha Team. You're gonna push through the back. Dominic, you're on Bravo. You're on the Breach Team. Jen and I enter through the side. This is ridiculous. They need our help. Keith, he told us to stay here. Okay, so you tell me, how are they gonna determine where the bomb is? Um, we designed an entire system to do that. Oh, shit. Jan, I'll copy. Good copy. Bravo. Alpha team moves on you.
two, one. You know the drill, Rourke.
sorry to have to kill you now. I was just starting to have some fun. This is Tom. I got eyes on Ace of Spades. He's holding one hostage and a tablet. Copy. We believe tablet is detonator. Copy. Detonator. You call yourselves sons of liberty? You arrogantly believe this world belongs to you? One man's terrorist is another man's patriot. We stand at the dawn of worldwide freedom. Yet you are willing to sacrifice this for a meaningless woman. Alturi, it's over. It's over. Put it down. Your father My would never have- My father was a patriot. A good man who gave your country everything. And you gave him nothing. He was a patriot. He was a good man. He was trying to save lives. Life. Jen. Tablet, left hand. Life Take that you shot. took from me. Life that you took from me. Secondary target acquired. Leave her for now.
All stations, check in. Copy that. We're Oscar, Mike, and 20. Uh-uh. This time I'm on point. Like hell you are. Tom, Jan, how copy? Good copy, Dancer. Operation is go. Moving. All I'm saying is I'm going to need about 90 seconds to breach the room. Then another 120 to clear the building. Are you going to be OK? Hardly. <laughs> Jan, you, lipstick, and pistols is not Tom. a nice combination. That's Come all I'm on. saying. 